Hey there, Fit Fam. Michael here, MorelliFit.com. In this video, I want to talk about the absolute number one way to burn fat above all else. Uh, but before I tell you, or before we get there, we've got a little bit of groundwork to do. I want to talk about calories. Uh, I want to talk about um, how your body burns these calories. And, and essentially, you know, the law of thermo thermodynamics says that you, you calories, energy cannot be destroyed, only transferred. So at the end of the day, it is about calories in and calories out. Now, I will say that I don't believe um, all foods are created equal. I don't believe that um, you can just eat McDonald's all day versus Whole Foods and you're going to get the same results, but some people do believe that. Um, so really quickly, let's talk about calories. I'm going to use a pie chart. All right, so let's pretend these are the calories that your body burns in a day. All right, so this is actually broken up into, let me see here, I'm going to do this. I'm going to test my drawing skills. So we've got about, oh, this is going to represent 60 to 70 percent, and this is RMR. All right, so this is resting metabolic rate. Also, some people say basal metabolic rate. Essentially what this is, is these are the amount of calories that your body burns while at rest, not sleeping. So essentially, you're all you're moving around and you're going to the kitchen and you're doing this or you're getting out of bed and your abdominals contract. This is all the movement from your muscles throughout the day. 60 to 70% of your calories are burned during those activities. Then you've got another uh, 20 to 30% is burned through exercise if you exercise. Now, some people are sedentary and so this piece is even smaller, but the idea here is, is that 20 to 30% of your calories are burned through exercise, whether you're weightlifting or you're doing uh, high intensity interval training or some other form of, of activity. And then the last, oh, 10 to 15% is the digestion of food. Your body actually burns calories through the digestion process. And in fact, 10 to 15% of them uh, come from uh, the digestion process, it's also called the thermic effect of food. Now, something really, uh, something to, to, to just mention here, it's worth mentioning, is that protein has the highest thermic effect of food. So it takes your body more energy to break down protein. And so this number is actually, uh, it actually can go up based on what you're eating or what macronutrient you're eating. All right, so these represent 100% of your calories that you burn in any, any given day. All right, we know that 3,500 calories equals a pound of fat. And essentially, what fat is, is it's just extra energy. It's just stored energy on your body. Um, and so the moral or the whole, the whole takeaway from this video is, as I mentioned, the number one way to burn fat above all else. If we're burning 60 to 70% of our calories resting metabolic rate, well, wouldn't it, be, wouldn't it be smart to take a look at this and say, okay, well, if we're burning most of our calories here, how do we get our RMR up? How do we increase our RMR so that this number becomes larger? And the short answer to that is muscle. More muscle. Increase muscle. The more muscle on your body, the higher your RMR, the more calories you burn at rest. And so that's why when, if you go back and you look at some of my videos on the channel, I'm always talking about build muscle, build muscle, build muscle. Women, you're not going to get big and bulky overnight. You have to build muscle in order to set yourself up for long-term success. You know, you're not going to be able to exercise all crazy like you are now in your 20s, 30s, 40s, uh, and 50s. You're going to get to the point where it's going to taper down. You're not going to be able to lift weights and do hit and do all the things that you, th that you once could. And when that happens, you're going to be relying on your RMR more. And if you have no muscle on your body, well, guess what? You're going to start putting weight on. And that's, that's the whole premise for this, this video. Build muscle. The number one way to burn fat above all else is build muscle. So listen, with that, I hope you found this, this information useful. If you have any questions regarding this, um, calories, RMR, leave those below. I'd be happy to, to respond and, and, and get back to you on those. Um, and, and listen, with that, uh, be patient, stay the course, and let's get fit together. Take care.